Welcome back to Story Retold. Kalina here. We are continuing with Nancy Drew, the creature of Kapu Cave. So let me get right into getting this turned on. All right. We left at a cliffhanger, actually. And I think I was right in the middle of doing more grind work, which is... <laughs> collecting shells, going fishing. I don't remember what the mission was, to be honest. Every time I get back into playing this game, it's been a week. Um, I got bait. Should probably do some fishing. So, oh, we got more shells. Oh, you know what? Let's 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 collect shells. I think that is my favorite thing to do. Is hunt for shells. Ooh, nice. You got that one, right? Okay, yeah. Shows. Um, and you can't really see my shirt, but it is a shirt from. You guys can't really hear me when I back away. It is a shirt actually from Hawaii. It's got that turtle design on it. Thank you, Debbie and Dennis, for the shirt. I have not been to Hawaii myself, like I mentioned before, but I do have some goodies from Hawaii. All right, we are. It's still really hot out where I'm at right now, so this is still the perfect game to be playing. Um, let me go ahead and do a quick montage speed through of fishing so that you don't have to watch all of my fishing, okay? No, so yeah, I'm making progress. All right, uh, can we go back down here? Will it repopulate the shells? Yes, it will. Can I take that starfish? It's really pretty. Uh, it's alive, so no. Really? No taking it home. Yeah, I really want that scuba gear because that really opens the doors for a lot more shells to collect. It'd be really cool if I could make all the shells ever. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh, that's right, we left at a cliffhanger. So, we need to talk to Pua. She's here. That's good. Oh, uh, wait. Should we turn it? Let's, let's turn the fish. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's going on? Got another necklace for you. Let's have a look. Nice job. Here are your Big Island Bucks. Pleasure doing business with you. Got you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Money, money, money. Okay, what else? Uh, ooh. Uh, okay, hang on. Maybe we should get the snorkeling gear right now? Before we upset her with our interrogating questions. Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. There you go. And there you go. This dry bag is great. I can keep my clothes with me while I'm snorkeling. Wow. Need anything else? That was some argument you and your dad had. You heard us? Sort of. I couldn't really make out what you were saying. Not that I was trying to. My dad can act like such a loser sometimes. So can mine. But what did your dad do? Let's talk about something else, okay? I'll check back with you later. Sounds good. Okay, we got snorkeling gear. Um, should we go snorkeling? I mean, we do need to be helping Nancy, actually. We're supposed to be helping Nancy learn plants. Let's go snorkeling. Let's go snorkeling. I want to do it. I've never gone snorkeling in real life. I'm kind of nervous too. The op uh, dark waters. Um, I mean, these are clear waters, right? Dark water kind of makes me nervous. I do not like going swimming with water that I cannot see the bottom of. Interestingly, I know a lot of people who um, are like that. Look at all the starfish. Don't poke the urchin. <gasps> oh, 
your breath. Oh, okay, I see how this works. This is so cool. Look at this. So many shells. I'm worried about losing my breath. Uh, okay. I can go left or right. Oh my goodness, do I have to write directions down? I forget. Uh, oh, look! Do you see it? Do you see it? Look, look. <gasps> Let's do it. Whoa, that eel means business. Whoa, that eel means business. How many times can I provoke it until something happens? Whoa, that eel means business. Whoa, that eel means business. I don't know how many times you're supposed to poke and prod at it before anything happens. Or maybe there doesn't. Whoa, that eel means Aww. business. I was hoping it was going to bite me or, or electrocute me or something. Can I look down anywhere here? No. The turtle shell! <gasps> okay, it's all the same hot spot. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so that's about it then. That's all we can look at. This is a really cool area. There's a tiki man right here, though. I mean, that's where the eel is, and he's guarding the tunnel. I want to go there. Very much so. We gotta spit out the water. Oh, more shells. That's all I can look at. That was fun. All right, let's go learn about it. Learn about, learn about, learn about plants for Nancy. Collect a few more shells along the way. Just go. I did. I'm on that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get shells from it. There we go. Getting all the shells. It's a very short beach. Uh, then again, if I want to do have more beach experience, um, I could play Ransom with Seven Ships, but I really like this beach, this game. So I've got $25. I do need to save, like, some for the plant learning. Um, but we should take a look at what beads we have. Oh, look, we just... Okay, we've got the structure. We're missing one something or other. Oh, it's that fancy blue teal mixed color one. I'm fine. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's that fancy one for right here, the thundercloud. So can we do this one? We have enough of these. Um, what do you think? Four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can do. We can do this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do the dancing lizard. If I can get it on there. I do like stringing beads. It is a fun thing to do. Oh come on! If I can do it right. <laughs> Uh, right, red, okay. I am recording, right? Yeah. Three, three, two, okay, let me finish off with this. Okay. Perfect match. Dancing lizard, dance of Pele. Three, six. Okay, we got enough here. Got enough here. Got that. Yay! All right. Purpley purple. I do have a friend who makes jewelry necklaces, particularly necklaces. I think she might do earrings too. I don't know. Um, she has an Etsy shop. And she opened it up this last year, although it was really tricky with uh, COVID, I guess. She was trying to do some 
some um, booth events, like farmers markets and stuff. There, not bad. But because of COVID, it all closed down. I don't think we've got enough for this one. So she was a little bit. Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna link my friend's Etsy shop with her permission. If she doesn't give me permission, then I'm not gonna do it. In the description below, if you wanted to check out some actual handmade jewelry necklaces from my friend, um, give her a little boost. Uh, she does have some really pretty things in, in there. Uh, I don't have enough red ones. Okay, so we need to get red. Oh, I don't have enough red ones for this either, but I could do shark bite. Ah, okay. Wait. I might have to take a break because my son just woke up now. How much money I got? I still haven't spent very much. I do need to buy more bait, so there's that. Save some money for bait. And then, uh, ooh, tempting, tempting, tempting. I gotta save up money for these souvenirs, too, and more beads. I need more beads. Alright, let's go learn a little bit of our... Oh, wait. Shea Boss is only a buck. Get one of each flavor. Just gotta have a little there. bit of snow cone. Excellent. It's great for summer. Oh, by the way, uh, Her Interactive has a food contest happening again for the summertime. So I think you should check out herinteractive.com to learn more about the contest. Um, yours truly designed some of the art the, the graphic design that was on the apron and the other merchandise that you see. So it's a picture of the uh, the the pink stand mixer with the Nancy Drew ingredients thrown into it. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get my son. But yeah, I did that. So if you want to win some cool prizes, go to herinteractive.com and learn more about that food contest that they've got going on. So I'm going to take a break right here and I will resume a little bit later. Okay, we are back. Let me adjust this light. Okay, what were we doing? Uh, we were... I am so blanking. Okay, oh, oh, case journal. Okay. Uh, right, pawn ticket. Maybe we could phone call him? I thought there was a number on it. Oh, I forgot we had a task list. <gasps> Still need to do- I can- Not done with that yet. Can't check that off yet. Done with that. That's done. It's strange to hear someone else's voice officially say these things, because Nancy always is the one who says, Done. Can't check that off. That's done. Done with that. Done with that. Oh, that's right. We're trying to find- What is we doing here? Still need to do- Can't check that off yet. Not done with that yet. Right. We were in here to learn about- Honestly, I forget. Okay, I think we only read about Hawaiian mythology. So I gave one credit in. Bark cloth. Hula, shelling, and Hawaii. Hawaiian plants. Okay, formation of the Hawaiian islands. Hawaiian folklore. Hoi. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to learn. That might be a bit... That might be a lot. So let's just do three for now. Okay. We'll start with Kappa. Bark cloth. Okay, I'm gonna just skim through this. Paper of the mulberry tree. Making cloth out of bark. This cloth called Kappa. Tapa and other parts of Polynesia. Worn by women, worn by men, beddings from the world. That's how they're buried. Oh! Uh, wa wa wauki trees? I think one of the things I learned about um, the Hawaiian language was actually from reading a Dear America book uh, based on the last princess of Hawaii, Kaiulani. And I learned in the back of that book that you're supposed to pronounce every vowel and letter in the Hawaiian language. So this would probably be something like wauki. I might be butchering the pronunciation, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, we actually had a Hawaiian. There, there was actually a Hawaiian descent. Uh, a lady who worked at her interactive. You might be able to point it out in the credits, actually. 
I love seeing these little sketches. What's going on here? This looks like an anvil. And they've got some sort of press here. They're holding with this. Is this? What is this? There's a lot of information here that you can learn that's actually not going to be applicable to our solving the mystery. But it is really fascinating if you sit here and actually read through it. And it's, gonna, it's not very entertaining if I was to do it for you, but... Um... Oh, but look at this. This is pretty. Dyed from different plant sources, such as berries, bark, and roots, and even mud from the taro fields. Geometric designs were stenciled or stamped, on, stamped onto the cloth. Often stored with aromatic oils and seeds to give the cloth a pleasant smell and to mask the odor of the fermented fibers. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, that's that. Um, are you sure you want gut enrichment? Yes. Okay. All right, now let's learn about Hawaiian plants for Nancy's sake. Oh, did I take pictures of these? Uh, maybe. No, I did not before, obviously. Uh, this is a Puhala. Oh, uh, Puhala. Pineapple-like fruit. Okay. Hala pepe. Smooth gray bark. These are long, narrow. Oh. Ah. Uh, ali'i. Reddit. Okay, bark is reddish brown to blackish gray. This is very descriptive. I mean, I just like looking at the sketches that the artists have done here. Like, how fun is it to just sketch like this? Koa. I've seen these in the forest as Nancy. Willy Willy. Okay. I think I've seen this one too. Naupaka. Naupaka. Kului, uh, banana plant. I think I know what bananas look like. Candle nut tree, kukui. What are two large seeds inside? Oh, wow, fascinating. Okay. Oh, I think I've seen that one too. Meconia. Oh, that's it. Okay, great. Okay. Um. And we're going to learn one more. Formation of the Hawaiian Islands. So that way we cover this whole left half of the screen. We'll come back to this later. Eight islands. Hawaii, Maui, Kahoalawi, Molokai, Lanai, Oahu, Kauai. Niahau. I don't know how to pronounce these, really. Volcanoes. Yeah. More. More. What do you call these things? Doesn't say. Okay, great. All right. Excellent. Uh, so uh, now we need to make some phone calls. Can we talk to Big Eye? Hey, what's going on? I couldn't help but overhear you and Pua arguing earlier. Anything serious? Father-daughter stuff. No big thing. Forget about it. Mm, I'm not gonna forget about it. No. I couldn't tell who was mad or you or her. I said forget about it! Oh, hot topic. We hit his buttons. Okay, let's talk to, um, the pawnbroker. Pawn shop, this is Davey. I found a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure, what's the number? It's receipt number 57441. Hang on. Hmm. How well do 
do you know this guy? Uh... That depends on why you're asking. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy too. Name's Johnny Kuto. JK. Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number too, but he never picks up. Really? Can I have that number or is that a uh, policy? Think you could give me Kuto's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Mm. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. What kind of stuff did Kudo sell to you? Laptop, digital camera, and a PDA. Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. Laptop, digital camera, and PDA. Those things contain vital information depending on where it's coming from and who owned it. Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging around a business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions? Police mentioned that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. Hmm. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Hey, no problem. Good luck to you, mate. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Wait, Richard Aikens is our main contact who hired us through ATAC, I think. Or not through ATAC. Just... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's call Johnny Kudo. Wait. Let's have um, a snack first. You know, you gotta get, you know, it's like getting popcorn ready for a there. show. Mmm. That was pretty good. Oops. All right, Johnny Kudo. The person you have called is not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's. I know what you two have been up to. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280. Five 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 seven two six three. That's interesting. Okay, looking at the flavors here. Uh, shave ice. Uh, watermelon, lemon, lime, banana, coconut, pineapple, grape, mango, and cherry. What combination would be your favorite? Okay, um, I was supposed to call Nancy about the plants. I kind of don't want to transfer over to Nancy because I still want to make more. I mean, I've already spent enough time um, fishing and. I love you. Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly, I want to know why you slugged my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the thing you got going with Mapu. Got nothing going with that overgrown jerk. The guy double crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. What was it Mapu paid you to steal for him? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In fact, shoot. Ah, uh, I think uh, that was a bit of a error there. Okay, I'm just, I just, I just want to, you know, go pick up some shells real quick, you know, every chance I get, and put some more shells. Let's, um, I, 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 I know, I know I need to, like, get on the case. Oh, I just love doing this. Oh. Uh, something else, if you've noticed, if you paid much attention to the last... Four digits of Nancy, Bess, George, and Ned's phone numbers. They intentionally spell out something on the phone keypad. And I don't remember. 
remember what Frank Hardy was, or that even it, there is, is one for Frank Hardy. Okay, he's not gonna. Okay, I think. Did I miss one? Got it. There it is. Okay. Now, with the frequency that we come in here, you're bound to find one more awesome shell. Okay, okay, we should probably call Nancy now. Let's Yo, Nancy, I've learned about plants for you. How do I deliver that information? Hello? Hey, Nancy, it's Frank. Hi, were you able to dig up any info on plants? You betcha. Great, let's hear it. Well... The Poo Hala tree is about 30 feet tall with long leaves and support roots. The Hala Pepe tree has smooth gray bark and long skinny leaves. The Aali'i plant has small green leaves and distinctive purple clusters. The Koa tree is very tall with sickle-shaped leaves. The Wheelie Wheelie -wheel tree drops its leaves, then blooms in the summer. Now Paka is a shrub with white flowers that look like they've been torn in half. The Kalu'i is a shrub with fuzzy oval-shaped leaves. The banana plant has huge leaves and bears, ta-da, bananas. The candlenut tree is bushy with clusters of tiny white flowers that develop into green nut-like jobs. And Myconia, boo, is an extremely invasive tree with big leaves that are green on top and purple on the bottom and have three veins. Okay, anything else you want to know? Uh, no, not right now. Good. How about I talk to you later? Deal. Okay, so I think in order to get the last samples, let's see, I've got red, purple, yellow, and blue. The let's see, red, purple, yellow, and blue. So we need green and orange, and green and orange. Aha, uh, at Ka or at Kapu Cave. Yeah, right here. It says it two traps, green and orange, right? Kapu Cave. Um, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. So the coordinates I need to enter are north 19 degrees 20 30 and west 155 degrees 0533. Great. All right, and these are the vegetation keys, code keys for those certain plants. So I need to match the visual plants with the names and the names of the plants with the code. But let's go ahead and collect our sample at Tapu Cave. Is that where we're gonna see our creature? Okay, can I click here? Can I click? Click, 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 click. Uh, it's okay, 19, and uh, 20, and uh, 30, and then 155, and uh, 05, and 33. <gasps> We've got access to Capu Cave. eagle that I hear? Whoa, look at the heat waves. You see the animation of the heat waves? <gasps> We're at the lava pit. Okay, green. There is no vegetation here. Oh, Nancy, you better have good shoes. Uh, and you won't, hopefully you don't mind uh, ruining these shoes. Oh, let's go check out this place. Ooh, spider webs. Look at all those webs. I wonder what made them. What and bug? Why are there so many? What type of insect hangs out at a volcano? <gasps> oh. Yeah, this is how I need to decorate my house. Yeah. Look at you. You have a big tongue. I wonder yeah. what the deal is with this guy. And what's with all the animals on his teeth? Putting that there doesn't help. Putting what? Something goes here, but what? Okay. Something goes here, but what? Your finger, Nancy. Pick his nose. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, so they're, they're tiki. You look great too, sir. Interesting. 
Um, yeah. Don't have much to, s to do here. But let's go back and fill out our information for Dr. Quigley Ken and do our bug stuff. Camp yeah, quickly, here we go. Have any of you actually used a legit GPS? Not your phones. Phones don't count. I'm talking like old school Tom Toms or whatever brand you may have used. So what's that red thing over there in the tree? Is it just a leaf? Hmm. Okay, all right. Now let's fill out what we do know um, about the plants and these where they're located. And I'm just going to use my handy dandy strategy guide. Have I collected that information? I know I've got, I can at least identify the plants now. So there's that. All right, so red is actually the Meconia tree, which means this is code 10. Okay, uh, the blue is the banana plant, which is eight. Did I lose the game audio? Is there any audio left? Uh, purple is the koa plant. Green is from Kapu Cave, which has no vegetation, which is 11. Same with orange. And then the yellow is Naupaka. All right, so now we need to figure out the frass weight and the number of seeds. All right, so these are what the seeds look like. This is frass. And these are the insect parts. So need to weigh this and then we count the number of seeds uh, and then we determine this number by this information okay um, oh but we do need to take a take note of um, we do need to note how many of each set are here this is quite this is probably the most memorable puzzle because it is really hard to get such fine-tuned details figured out here. Oh no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I going to do all that frass sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm, maybe I should go see Dr. Craven again. Hey friend, Dr. Craven, can I have more stuff? Wait a minute, I was gonna take a look at something in here. Um, right? I'm trying to figure out what was the password here. No? Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, why did I write eight on here? Which one's... Which one's blue? Oh, it's... This one. I did this wrong. Okay. Uh, so it's... Um, I didn't write down, write this down correct? I've had like three different notes on this. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't have this memorized by now, but I don't. Shame on me. Why was I? Okay. Oh. There we go. 
Okay, I was curious. No, can I remember? Right. I was curious to the number in here. This is all information on Dr. Craven, but this number. The number in QK's book. It just says a number. Okay. Um, what does it say in my notes? Let's scroll down here. And talks about Ranger Joe. Hung up on Ned. Okay, yeah, we have no idea who this phone number is. I wonder if I can ask her about it. Um, I don't remember what her... Oh, the good notes there. Um, <clears throat> can't flowers. check... Can't check that? Plan. Check. I'm just digressing. I'm thinking did, out loud. Um, did check. I honestly don't know what that phone number Did that. Maybe, can I try calling it again? Did that. Maybe we'll try doing that. Did that. Check. Check. Duh. 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 Check. It's an interesting sound effect used for this. I mean, it's a satisfying check sound, but it's not like a pencil scratch or anything. Duh. Duh. Check. Duh. Ch check. I got a lot done. Still need to do. Did that. Recording the frost. Still need to do that. Can't check that. Still need to do that. Okay. Let's try calling this number again. I'm curious who it was. No. I'm wondering if that was like um a boss or something. Ooh. Or a science colleague or someone in Chicago, I guess. What was I doing? I need to go see Dr. Craven. Hmm. Okay. Let's go play nice with the mad scientist. Egocentric scientist. Healy Healy. I don't know. I, I think the Healy Healy is my favorite environment in this game. Honestly. Can I come in? Hello? State your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. No, no. Dr. Craven will see me. Really. Just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? The young lady who... Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in, just for a few minutes? Let her in. Somewhat to my surprise, I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. You see, I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I... I don't get to see her anymore. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what can I do for you? I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me. Only hers is broken. Do you have one I could use? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. The plants down below need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? You bet. Good. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error, it will be immediately apparent, and needless to say, I will be extremely upset. Got it. Don't make him upset. No, let's not make him any more angry than he already is. Okay, the plants are... Oh, on the right here. Can't unlock this with that. Mm. Is it in here? Whoa. 
Is it these? That's really cool. I don't want to let out any of these plants. You know, this is just a horror film waiting to happen. Ugh. Wait, how do I how do I get over there? Oh, I need a key, right? That's right, he gave me the key. Okay. <laughs> Is it just me, you guys? Look at these, look at these, look at these. Is it just me or do these look like the old fashioned, um, do you remember the dum-dums? They are little lollipops, little tiny lollipops. Or as uh, some people call them suckers. On a stick, hard candy on a stick. They look like the old fashioned dum-dums. I love those as a kid because they were small, you know, like they're Tootsie Pop ones were really big and hard to fit in my mouth, but the little dum-dums, they were, they were awesome. Because these look like candy. They just look like candy. Alright, so according to the strategy guide, um, by flipping some of the switches, we could be at this for a long time. And I remember on my last Switch party, uh, with her interactive, I was at this for so long. Thankfully, I've got the strategy guide here. It says, um, okay, light green, which is one. Press the green button. Two. And we do it again. And then if we do one. And then three. So the final combination is one, two, two, one, three. For the one of the fastest ways to get all of these fertilized. That should do it. Awesome. You see this little um, snap or like embellishment on Nancy's backpack inventory right here? It looks like a minus sign because it's so bright right next to the star. It looks like negative star. It kind of bugs me. Yo. What is it now? I fertilize those plants. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? I'll go now, but I really appreciate your talking to me. Good luck entomologizing. Good luck entomologizing, I like that. Okay, entomologizing. We're gonna go do that. <gasps> yes? He did what? No, 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 no! Those seedlings were irreplaceable! How could anyone be that stupid? Oh, tell me his name. Well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself. Yikes. Yeah, now's not a good time to have a fun conversation with Dr. Craven, but... You know, I wonder if now's a good time to actually go snooping. Hmm. If I knew which locker belonged to that guy who just got fired and could figure out how to open it, I could wear his yellow jumpsuit outside and snoop to my heart's content. That is like every detective's dream. Snooping to my heart's content. Um, Mr. Craven, are you gone? Do I talk to him? If you have any regard at all for your personal safety, Ms. Drew, you'll leave now! Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's, let's, yeah, bye. Mm -hmm. Come back later. Yeah, that's fine. Sounds like he throws things and breaks things. Back to frats and entomologizing. Did you guys ever have um, biology classes or other science classes where you did study bugs? That won't work. 
Now you want to wear. Looks like this has a built-in scale. Nice. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the frass. Okay, get out my actual note paper and pen. Here we go. Let's start with red. Okay, so I don't think we need to know what the total is, but we do need to know number of seeds, like quantity. And we need to know the weight of the frass. And then we need to know, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, we need, okay, okay. Okay, uh, those are insect parts. All right, we need to know what the most numerous was and then the second most numerous. So you know what, we're also going to count. We're also gonna count the frass. So we're gonna count the weight for the frass, count the number of frass, and then count the seeds. Uh, we're also, we should also count the, um, should also count the insect parts. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, so much counting. If this ends up, if I, if this ends up being really boring, I might just fast forward this for your entertainment. But maybe I'll just show you what I'm doing here first. So this is the piece, this is the um, little, baggie the red baggie from so you know which uh which uh plant we we're gathering this stuff from all right so we need to figure out how many insect parts there are i believe that's insect i think that's insect so frass are all the squigglies let's just keep let's get a little organized here so squigglies um seeds And the annoying thing about this puzzle is that if you open up the guide again, you know what? Here, this is what you need to do. Yeah, see if I turn, you hear that sound? It means you put it all back in the bag. So what you need to do is, um, if you can, for reference sake, get out your phone and take a picture or use the strategy guide to remember what all of these look like, okay? Okay. Let's turn it like this so I can just refer to it. See, Nancy put it all back like that. How annoying is that? Okay, great. So insect parts, that is an insect part. We got frost, we got s I'm gonna put the seeds at the top. Insect parts down here. That's an insect part. Oh, come on. Insect. Seeds. The music is lovely. What is this? This is actually a seed. What is this? This is an insect part. Okay. Can you see how I'm organizing? What is this? This is a seed. This is an insect part as well. Yeah, that's an insect part. And this is all frass. So I'm just going to organize that so you can see. That's a piece. That's a piece. All right. Okay, great. So now we've got all the frass here. We're going, the weight is 0 0.99. So I'm gonna write that down for red. Number of seeds, uh, frass weight is 0 0.99. The number of frass, I'm gonna count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, we're just, we need to remember that for um, quantity later. And number of seeds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 seeds. And do 
do, 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 number of seeds, uh, insect parts. I'm going to count how many insect parts there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So looking at this, we've got the most amount of seeds. Okay. So I'm going to label that as A. This is the most. Um, and the next most is actually the frass, the quantity of frass. So I'm going to label that as B. And then the least amount is actually the insects part, insect parts, which is C. So therefore, when we open this up, we're going to enter in the frass weight, which is, and then the number of seeds, which was 12. And then for the detritus predominance, we come over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so uh, the most numerous, in our case, A is the number of seeds. So if we look at the number of seeds, and then the second most for us was the frass and then the insect parts. So then this is the detritus predominance number is 405. I'm going to check my work according to the strategy guide to make sure I am doing this correct. Okay. Yes, I did it correct. And actually, since the scale said 099, you don't have to type in the zero for it to accept. Uh, let's try that now. And you know what? I'm gonna see if, uh, oh, what's the term that her interactive used? Block? There's a very special term, what was it? Oh, goodness, I wish I could remember. The designers used it. If I enter all this information without having to do the actual weight, there's a word for that. If the designers are allowing me to do that or not. So I'm gonna try. We don't have to sit here and count all the weight since I've, we understand how the puzzle works. We can skip the grunt work because I've played this game before. And I'm going to use my resources, which is this handy dandy strategy guide chart right here. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. You know, if I paid attention, that would be huge. I'm looking at the wrong column. <laughs> Last. I'm looking at the wrong <laughs> row. All right. And then this is 44. Orange is 37. This is 150. Eight. Five. five nine. Three, five, nine. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it shares the same detritus predominance. You can have multiple. Okay. Does it save my work? It does. All right, now we, what do we do? We, um, I can't go anywhere. I haven't inserted the clipboard into that formula machine thing yet. Well, I'd like to. Oh, I have to go to the right instead of back up and then move over there. Okay, let's try this. Scan it. Rollmeister Technologies. One hundred nineteen thousand four hundred fifty six. All right. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, gosh, I want to remember what that term was. The designers used a term 
for blocking the player from moving forward, forcing the player to do something in order to get the answer. So like this instance, we were not blocked. We could enter in the information if we already had it in our handwritten notes or in the strategy guide. All right. Um, was that the only thing we had to do? Yeah. All right, let's go talk to Dr. Quigley Kim with this information. Where is she? She's at Sleeping Her Rock. Where I like to say, three toes rock. Run, Nancy, run through the forest. Lickety split. Super fast. Quigley? Yoo-hoo! Quigley! Big summer blowout. I just wondered if you knew what the deal is with all those webs at Kapu K. Don't worry, they were made by Norse Beta larvae, not arachnids. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. <laughs> Quigley, could you come down here? Well? All through, I think. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, the number your formula machine came up with was 119,456? <laughs> yes, yes, it really is true. I've stumbled upon the biggest bloom of Norsa Beta larva ever recorded. We're going to be famous, Nancy, and with any luck, rich as heck. Way to go. Thank you. I just wish I knew what you were talking about. You just confirmed that for some reason, the Norsa Beta odorata in this area, maybe on the whole island, are reproducing at an unheard of rate. What are Norsa Beta odorata? It's a kind of moth. And to have it suddenly be producing ten times more larvae than usual? It's huge! Nothing like this has ever happened before, anywhere. It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. Okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frass jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about it. Okay. We need to know what all those Norse Beta caterpillars have been eating. Uh, you mean the stuff in those jars is, I mean, came from caterpillars? Of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your analysis, you need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy Healy. Even if it means sneaking in. See if that's what those caterpillars have been eating. Something big's going on here, Nancy. Let's make history and find out what! Okay. Um, can we snoop your back? No. Okay. Okay, now we have, like, legitimate cause to go snooping in Malachi Graven's space. Oh boy. Okay, so the larvae, the, the, the webs in the cave, at the cave, were made by the larvae of moths. And they're reproducing because they've been eating a ton. So something about the food is making them produce, reproduce. What are they eating? I mean, the pineapple crops were down, I mean, according to the newspaper. So was it pineapple? <clears throat> um, here. State your business. Oh, it's you. What is it now? I'll go now, but I really appreciate your talking to me. Good luck entomologizing. How do we do this? How do we snoop? Hey you! Either go back inside or put on a suit. Darn it. Yeah. 
Okay, what do we do though? Dr. Craven? He's sound asleep. He must have decided to take that antihistamine after all. Perfect. Save game, save game, save game, save game. This is a page that was torn off Quigley's clipboard, which means the person who trashed her camp must have been Dr. Craven? Whoa. Chlorohydroxylamine? Mm, cause drowsiness. He's waking up! Can I, can I okay, move? let's see. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Fighterman or something. <gasps> you, young lady, would appear to be in very deep trouble. I love second chances. Oh no, he's waking up. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's see. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Fighterman or something. A banana. M. Baker. Oh, goodness, I'm getting messages. Uh, okay. Hang on, I'm going to take some pictures of this. We might need to, sorry. First, we have to go to settings, though, and uh, mute it. There we go. Employees, okay. Here we go, Fighterman. Number 14-667-93. I'm trying to recognize some of these names. Oh, Megan Geyser, CEO for Interactive. Anne Grant, Sherry Hargis, Rob Hay, John Hayashi. Don't recognize this name. These are actual employees of her Interactive at the time of this game. Kyle Jones, Rob Clee. There she is. Um, what's her name? M. Kawani Winui. That's her last name. I thought her name was Charity Kawani Winui. Donovan Larson, yep. Ann Ludwig, the writer, yep. Did I get a picture of this? Uh, Mike Paganini, yep, I remember him. Robert Real, yes. Um, Elena Sanders, James Silvers, an artist. Oh, Susan Sloan. This could be Taylor Sinclair. No, it's not. Someone else. Oh, uh, Mark Templin, Mari Takuda, uh, Chris Ulmer, artist. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, now we do lockers. We gotta take it to the lockers here. Um, All right. Looks like employee number 14 667 93, otherwise known as Fighterman, was assigned to locker 13. The combination is R4L2L7R9. You are able to open all the lockers, but fun fact um, I believe it's locker 15. There is a typo here, it's off by one digit. 
Yeah. And in the next walkthrough video, I will show you what that is. But for now, we're going to open up that one locker, which is locker 13. And that was what? Oops. Oh, hang on. Let me go to my photos here. Locker 13, which is R to 4. Enter that. 4. Left 2. Is it left 2, 2? Left to seven. Right to nine. Yeah, okay. Aw, somebody this should keep those men in yellow off my back. They're really, I don't know whose kids those are, but could be contest winners too. All right, you know what? Now is an excellent time before we open up all the uh, lockers and enter the zone and start my extreme snooping I'm gonna call it a day and leave you as a clip uh, a little fun little cliffhanger so I will see you in the next video on to the next video